India, we're going to cross the Atlantic to Argentina. And the next presentation uh, is, going about, uh, is, going, is, is going to talk about uh, Fondacion Huesped. Please welcome Alexandre Divet, data scientist, Wunderman, Wunderman from Argentina. Yeah, sure. Can you put the sound on, please? Uh, it's not working? Cool. Hi, everyone. So today I'm going to present you some... I'm going to present you something a bit different. I'm going to present you how we use data to inspire us at Wonderman. So let me talk about one of the case studies we have for one of the clients called Foundation Web. Uh, is it mine? <laughs> Again, maybe you can switch to this one and I'll give you another microphone, okay? Just, just go there. The Foundation Westbed, um, our client. Cheers. <laughs> you, you'll have 20 seconds more, no more. <laughs> All right, so Foundation Westbed, our client, uh, is focusing basically on HIV. So its goal is to protect uh, and access, the, sorry, to protect the right to health and the access to control disease. So basically, um, we've been working quite a few years with the client, and the first thing that came up with them is that we don't talk about HIV enough anymore. People tend to think that this is a disease that has been, well, it's, it's a problem that has been solved, but it's not. In Argentina, pe the numbers are increasing, actually. The people affected by HIV is increasing. You have to understand that 120,000 people in it are affected by HIV in Argentina, and 30% of the population don't even know about it. So we looked at those figures, and we know basically that the first thing we can do to combat the disease is an early diagnosis, because you get better treatment. So what we know also is that 86% of the people that go to the clinics that don't ask for any tests for HIV. And this is specific to Argentina. It's not mandatory to get tested for HIV. So our idea is very simple. We want to use those routine tests and transform that into HIV tests. But the thing is, like, we wanted to find a creative approach so that people would be incentivized to go and get HIV tested. And we know that data is really impactful when it's shown to the people in a certain way so that they feel concerned about those figures. So this is how represented token numbers. And we turn those regular blood tests into HIV tests.
there you here you have the results. One of the results that is very meaningful to us is that there are 22 people that have been tested positive and they are treated right now. So this is how we use data to inspire creative approaches. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, apologies for the technical problems. So you are more than right on time. So please, jury, do you have any questions for the gentleman? <laughs>